Good morning. So this talk is about the susceptibility of fruit to infestation by false cotton moth <coughs> at different stages of development. It is an important pest causing economic damage to a variety of crops including nectarines which will be the focus of the talk today. It's also important from a phytosanitary point of view. Yet, despite its importance, very little information is known about when and at what stage the fruit becomes susceptible to attack by FCM. And this was then indeed the aim of the, of the study, to determine when during the season the fruit becomes susceptible. For this, different nectarine cultivars were chosen. Alpine as an early season cultivar, Luciana as a mid-season cultivar, and August Red as a late season cultivar. Fruit were picked at different stages of development, 100 fruit for each stage and cultivar. Ideally, one would have liked to start picking fruit as early as about three weeks after full bloom, but this occurred a bit too early in the season before the hot crow year started, so it could not be included. For Alpine, which is our earliest cultivar, fruit were only picked at harvest. But for Luciana and August Red, we could include a little bit more. So fruit were picked at pit hardening, between pit hardening and harvest, and also at harvest. The fruit were then washed with a spore kill solution to reduce fungal growth. It gets quite messy in the lab. Left to dry, and then the false cotton moth egg sheets were placed on the fruit. This was then placed in a laboratory, 25 degrees Celsius with a long light cycle. So conditions that are really ideal for insect development, but it's not, of course, what you will find in the field. In terms of the results and conclusions, FCM completed its development in all the cultivars at all the stages sampled. So it shows us that at least in the lab, nectarines become susceptible to false cotton moth soon in its development. Um, as I've mentioned, the fruit susceptibility at the earlier stages, those closer to, to full bloom, were not investigated, and they may be susceptible. There are f other fruit types which are susceptible basically through all the um, periods of development. But one also has to bear in mind that susceptibility in the lab does not necessarily translate to susceptibility in the field, as the fruit may not be attractive to false cotton moth for egg laying for the adults. In the lab, you leave them no choice. The eggs are put on the fruit, but in the field, the moths may choose to move on to a different fruit type. Nevertheless, um, results from this study may indicate that control measures for false cotton moth in nectar on nectarines should start early in the season. Thank you.